Hello everybody and welcome back to Match Day with Max where Forest have just finished the last home game of the season beating Swansea by five goals to one. Steve, concentrate on the result uh, today. Last uh, home game of the season. Just what a remarkable season it's been. We've turned it around and to even think about the possibility, possibility of automatics but it all goes down to that game on Tuesday night. Yeah, everyone was talking about Tuesday and we had to deal with this yeah. one first. And I just got worried after about 20 minutes. Normally, I don't get worried. But I thought we should have been 5-1 up or something like that. And then just thought, oh, is this going to be one of them days? But we came out second half. We did everything. Bournemouth winning today doesn't change anything. We still had to go and win on Tuesday. And we got that one goal. We're ahead by one goal. So if we do win on Tuesday, we're in the automatics. And then... By all accounts, I think Hull are on the beach anyway, so let, yeah. let's just go up. Yeah, and I suppose we're still in the playoffs, and today was good because that first half, they really slowed the game down, Swansea. I mean, injuries every five, ten minutes, they had the medical staff coming on. I really thought it was going to be one of those days, but showed real resilience, and, and Sam Surridge today, because his goals, I mean... and the second, the second yeah. goal was brilliant. No, no. Uh, well, sorry, yeah, our second goal was brilliant, the way we took it. But no disrespect, this, you know, if I'm Scott Parker, I'm looking at this result and I'm thinking, hold on a minute, they've just beat Swansea 5-1, you know, and I, I just, look, it all comes down to Tuesday, you know, it's a cup final. Um, can we win? Yeah, do I think we'll win? I don't think we're going to get beat, but I think, yeah, I think we'll beat them. I just, there is something about this year you know, it's in the stars, you know. She couldn't get a babysitter. Well, Aaron. Couldn't get a babysitter. She's brought the bug home and away. And this place is rocking. It's just... Bring them on. Bring them on. Come on, you Reds. Come on, Cheers, you Reds. mate. Barry, full time. We beat Swansea 5-1 and the possibility of automatic promotion. But playoffs are secured. What a season it's been. Oh, it's been an unbelievable season. And this match, we could have been 10. It could have been 10. Yeah, but so, what, and it, and what he's done, whether we go up or whether we don't go up, is done magnificent for this. You're it! Very good. <laughs> um, it, I, I thought that the Forest team second half showed real desire because we did, did really well because they slowed the game down massively I've, in the first half, didn't they? And, and the desire to go and get more goals as yeah. well towards the end. Well, they always do, don't yeah. they? He won't sit back on one goal or two goals. He, he just keeps going. Yeah. Uh, I thought in the first half, I thought we were a bit leggy. And also, the misses, the chances we had, I thought, oh God, not one of them games, surely. But they just keep surprising you all the while, don't they? Can we do it automatics, Barry? Why not? Yeah. Why not? I bet they must be thinking, what the hell is Forrest up to? You know, Bournemouth must be... No, I can't say it. <laughs> Mate. Well, I hope nobody's stupid enough to write us off, as the great man once no, said. I've heard that same before. I probably yeah. didn't say it as well as him, so, yeah. you know, come on, you Reds. Yeah, and I'm hoping, you know, you see some of it. Yes, and fingers crossed yeah. for you as well. The whole club, yeah. the whole community, the whole fan oh, base. It is, a, it is a community, it's a family now, yeah. isn't it? It is. Yeah, it really is. It is. I'm loving it. I am too. Come on, you Reds. I said it last time. I'm loving every second on it. You Reds! <laughs> George, you make your first appearance on Match Zero Max. Nice to see you, mate. Nice to, see you. Um, nice to meet you. Yes, in nice to finally meet yeah. you in person. Um, and what a game that was! Five goals, and that's four. Well, four, well, I suppose four goals conceding theirs, and, and then one extra goal difference now, better than Bournemouth. And we go into Tuesday night. I mean, what a game that's going to be! It's probably the biggest game in our lifetime, maybe. It would definitely. Um, yeah. I mean, that was incredible. Yeah. What well, I mean to, to to see them go five one up and then chase back to the to the kickoff yeah. to get another one. Yeah. Unbelievable. Um, yeah, amazing. Obviously, Bournemouth got a good result. So, yeah, Tuesday. Tuesday's huge. Tuesday is going to be huge. Yeah, I agree. Possibly the biggest game yeah. I'm ever going to be with. I can't, I'm, I couldn't get a ticket, but yeah. Um, but yeah, obviously, we'll be very nervous all day on Tuesday. It's, yeah. it's huge. Absolutely. I'll be there, so I'll shout a come on you, Reds, for you. Yeah, yeah do one for me. <laughs> um, I mean, regardless of whatever happens this season to get playoffs and to turn it around when Forrest had one point after seven games it's just remarkable the job that Steve Cooper's done isn't it and, and, and fair play to the club Murphy for going and getting him I mean how many times have you heard that, that yeah, phrase yeah, yeah. and you can't say it enough yeah. because it's just been extraordinary yeah. I mean it, 
we, we, we all know how the start was, yeah. but you just can't comprehend that you can start the first eight, seven, eight games like that yeah. and be in with a shot of automatics yeah. with two games to go. It's, I mean, you can't it's put it into words. Of, yeah. It's unheard of. What a season. I mean, as you say, no matter what happens, if we get to the playoffs, if we, if, if we, if we don't, you know, get to the final, it doesn't matter. What a season it's been. Like we are, we we've been lucky this season to to have that. Mm. So um, yeah, right, thank mate. you, thank you, Steve Cooper. Yeah, thank you, Steve Cooper. Come on, you Reds, mate. Come on, nice you one. Reds. Uh, Amanda, Rob, Rob, yeah. we'll start with you. Um, yeah. Because what a win and <laughs> Surridge as well. Yes. I can remember saying to you he'd be a good addition. He is, isn't he? Lock him in the cupboard. Oh no, <laughs> actually, it's a warehouse now. It's a warehouse. We've got, um, we've upgraded. We've upgraded. Yeah. <laughs> we've got Spence. Surridge, no, some others. Zinc and Argyle, yeah. lots more. Yeah. Playoffs or automatics? Automatic, definitely. Yeah, you reckon? Automatics. Yeah. Come on, you Reds. You Reds. Reds. The inflatable army continues. Yes. Nice yes. one. Yeah. Callum, the last time I spoke to you, you were probably half my size, and I was probably about the size you are now. Um, but what a win. That was good, wasn't it? Yeah, amazing. I mean, sorry, hat trick. Can't get any better. Yeah, it can't, can it? Oh, it can't. You just can't get enough, can you? No, you know, brilliant. it's like the old days when I used to come down here. It's it five, six, seven nils and all that lot. And now it's coming back. And yeah. Cooper is an ex-clough. He's got to be. He's Michaela, Lisa, Dave. We'll start with the cupboard situation. How's it going? Warehouse. Any? Yeah, warehouse, whatever it is. Yeah. Now complex. Wait, the extension's got an extension. Yeah, yeah, I was almost crying at the end of that. Then walking round, it was like I loved that. We can never let them leave. So uh, no, warehouse is in progress. And uh, yeah, they're never going. They they know what they've got to do. They know. So what happens? So if we get automatic, we get to the Premier League. This time next week, we're a Premier League side. Do they finally get released from the cupboard? Are they allowed food finally? Yes. If they're staying, yeah. If we if we're promoted, they're all staying, aren't they? they we're keeping the band together. Come on. They'd have to come out for the open top bus tour around Mar they Nottingham, to come wouldn't they? The open and then we'll get the handcuffs tour. out. It's that simple. <laughs> The, okay. the, the, the cover can be upgraded that, to a bus. That's a world, Max, I don't understand. No, I don't want to either. No, exclusive. No. You'll have to ask Foxy and Michaela about that. I don't know anything about Dave, that. Dave, we travelled to Bournemouth on a road trip on Tuesday and yeah. then Hall next week as yeah. well. Yeah. Two huge games that could define Forest history, couldn't it? They could. Who'd have thought in September we'd be facing, you know, Titanic clashes at a tiny ground and then a, another half-empty ground next week. Sorry, I'm making a point there. Um, just to be in this position, this was a brilliant tactical win. There were a lot of people getting a bit edgy with Swansea having lots of possession. That's what they do. Forest just stayed patient, unlike some of the supporters, and they got their rewards. So for all their possession, Swansea City have been beaten 9-2 on aggregate this season. And it's just tactically brilliant. <laughs> Let me just say something while the girls are here as well. Quite a serious issue. Nottingham Forest on the field play like a family. Mm. They've just showed us what they're, they're like a family when they walk around. And there's an even bigger family in the stand. And, and recently, recently I've come to see that and it's become really important yeah, to me. Is, and I just think that that family spirit and that and actually when Forrest get their teeth into something, it's going to stand us in good stead for the games to come. The Forrest family continues. Thanks, Forrest mum. <laughs> Reds. Oh, what am I? <laughs> <laughs> come on, you Reds. They still like my daughters. <laughs> I'm joined by Phil, uh, Sam Surridge's dad, and after a hat trick today, unbelievable performance from him. You must love to see your boy doing so well at Forest and a club where he's loved as well. Well, I, I say it's a dream come true for me. I, I've, I've said to people, I wish I'd have been a professional footballer, but the next best thing is being a dad of a professional yeah. footballer, and uh, I'm living my dreams through him in the nicest way. And I just, I'm, at the moment, I'm lost for words really, it's just seeing what's happened today. But the main thing was a Forest win, and that's that's all. I don't care who scored him today; it was a Forest win. Yeah. The fact that he's got through of them is even better. But he must be enjoying playing for Forest, playing under Cooper so much, and possibly an even Premier League team next season. Well, they're just a, it's just a brilliant club. I'd say since since I've come up here as a fan, just being a fan, it's been amazing. But Sam, every day I hear the difference in his voice, the tone of his voice, and um, just looking forward to every day being with the boys and, and Steve Cooper. And, and what a man manager Steve Cooper is. Yeah. Just he's bringing the best out in everybody, especially yeah. Sam. Tell Sam to keep scoring. Come on, you Reds. Nice one. Thank you very much.